They will send Jawan Britton to the mat in the 149 pound match. The redshirt freshman from Muskegon went to Whitehall High School and his old wrestling team was wrestling here earlier this morning. The Whitehall High School team was wrestling Niles here before our duel today. I walked in and I saw the White Hill had the Wisconsin W and I said, they, they're already wrestling? It's two quick ones for Jawan Britton. It was nine and nine this year, but in the comeback victory for the Spartans of Friday night in Bloomington, Jawan Britton was the one that was the first win. He started the rally of one of five freshmen to win in Bloomington Friday night, which was just a remarkable, remarkable job by this team as Cole Martin, his opponent, picks up an escape. Martin, the redshirt sophomore from Lancaster, Wisconsin, one of the many guys who come from Wisconsin on this team, was pinned by Michigan's Malik Amin on Friday and finished seventh in the Big Ten at 149 last year. Head inside single, knee pull, switches off to a double, peeks his head out and picks up his first takedown, giving him the 3-2 lead. Very fast pace here to start in 149. And Britton looking for a switch. And Jawan Britton picks up the escape to even things up at three. It's exciting when you start to see takedowns being put on the board. Cole Martin was just following, following, following. There's just that little bit of hip separation that Britton needed to pick up the one point for the escape to tie this match at three. So the opposite of our last match where we were scoreless till the third period, we're off to a quick start here in 149. Pretty good crowd for a Sunday afternoon here in Jenison Fieldhouse. A lot of red, a lot of Badgers traveling to watch their team. And you see Whitehall's team obviously over there watching Duan. There's a nice takedown from Cole Martin. And immediately back to that switch is Britton to the right side. And that's where the stall call below the waist the wrestler in the top position has to work above the hips, or you'll see the referee starting to count. And once he gets to that fifth count, you're gonna get a stall call. And this is where you wonder, is it almost better to look for the reversal and not get the stall call? But you can't pick and choose the rules, right? At the end of the first, Cole Martin of Wisconsin leads Jawan Britton five to three. And Britton will start down start the second as you get a look at Cole Martin there who's as we mentioned seventh last year at 149 in the Big Ten Championships. The Big Ten Championships this year will be hosted right here in East Lansing. I'm excited for that. It's going to be some great a great weekend for wrestling that's going to take place in the Breslin Center. An exciting time. The NCAA Championships two weeks after that are only three hours down the road, four hours down the road in Cleveland. So if you're a Midwest wrestling fan, you don't have to go too far to witness some high level wrestling. Britain picks up another escape to cut the lead to five to four. Britain working on some fakes, head tap, Stutter step from Juwan Britton as he gets back to a tie. Looks for a shock by, then shoots to a high crotch. Head on the outside, but gets stopped by Cole Martin's front headlock. And now he gets caught underneath. Not where you want to be. These two guys just tenacious right now. Still trying to feel each other out a little bit. Barry Davis looked for the cube to throw, but Camden Eppert 
And let's not worry about it. 30 seconds remain here. We'll look to pick up another takedown. Just stalemating right now, head to head, the worst position in wrestling. <laughs> <laughs> Get some shirts made, right? Better trademark it. As the clock runs out in the second period, a very highly contested 149 bout. Cole Martin, a slim five to four lead over Juwan Britton. And Juwan will start on top as he as you see there was Juwan, the recipient of the Spartans Outstanding Redshirt Award a year ago. And now into the starting lineup and being very productive for Coach Chandler. And you mentioned the win at Indiana and I was just gonna say the top position is where he picked up those points, that cross wrist ride. And now Cole Martin in deep on a double but Juwan stuffs the head and Martin, step slide, step slide, step slide. Two more points for Martin to double Britain up at eight to four here with a minute 20 to go. Riding time currently not a factor, sitting at 37 seconds in favor of Cole Martin. Much like Gaska in the last match, Britain has to, is gonna have to go here if he wants. And I mentioned that 133 pounds with Lance, or Jen Lons. Martin's not doing anything special in the top position. He's, he's just riding. That's all it is, is riding, he's coasting, he's floating in the top position. It's an escape for Britain. It's another takedown for Martin. To double him up again at 10 to five as we're under 15 seconds to go in this third period. Cole Martin is going to get Wisconsin's second decision in a row, 10 to 5, to open up the lead to 16 to 7 over Jawan Britton. That's going to be a major. Oh, it is going to be a major, yes. So Britton picked up the first takedown, and from there, it was all Cole Martin. Takedown after takedown, and it all came to an end with a major decision. 